Hey, welcome back everybody to another episode of Larry's Pin Case Talk. This is episode number 17 and here we go. This might be a little lengthy uh, pin case talk, so kind of relax, kick back, uh, and listen to what I have to say because I'll be doing a lot of flabbering going on, but uh, it may be interesting. I think it is. First of all, I've got a lot of questions, and I hope I give a lot of good answers. Uh, a lot of it's kind of deep for me, sensitive side for me, but... Uh, I'll do my best to try to explain as I go along. So, grab yourself a nice, comfortable chair. Relax, stretch, uh, because I got a lot to say today, and uh, and a lot of thank you to you guys. You right there. Yep, you. So, first of all, I'm always at this question. They say Mr. Pinman was what them said. Mr. Penman, what did you carry for pins this week? Well, let me show you what I have left, and then I'll tell you what I had before. Let's see. Out of one of my pin pouch, I've got the uh, Jin Hao, my wannabe uh, Monte Blanc 149. Of course, you, we know it's not. But this is a special one because it has the Anderson 1.5 stub nib, which I absolutely love the nib. I love it. I, for real, I really do. An excellent nib. Then I have the Jin Hao, this nice black looking 750 Jin Hao. And this one has the Goulet 1.5 stub nib. Another great stub nib that I also love just as well. So, for some reason down the line, I got into stub nibs, and, I, and I'm really glad I did because I, I do enjoy them a lot. They lay down the ink. They're a nice, wet, juicy rider. Then, the next is the Pelican M1000 with an 18K gold nib. Excellent rider. Wet, juicy, love it. Then... I had to get the blue one, but I got the Pelican M800 18K gold nib, another juicy wet nib. And I noticed that this nib on this pen is not as soft or as flex, I guess that's the word I want to use, as the 1000. This is a softer nib and this is a harder nib to me. But they both write superbly. Love them both. Wouldn't trade them for nothing. If that made any sense to you at all. Because a lot of times I don't make any sense. I just ramble, ramble, ramble. Ugh. Anyway. And another my newest edition. Is the Edison Collier 1.5 stub nib. Beautiful. Great. Love the stub nib. It's everything I like in a fountain pen. I like the size. So, great wetness, great flow. Can't say enough about it. And, uh, again, a special thanks to Doug for sending me the pen. So, with that said, let me go into my Uber notebook, which I have made this one hardcover into my ink notebook to keep track of the pens I use and uh, like you guys do uh, track your inks and when you ink them and how much ink in it and blah 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 you know like the pen I'll go over this one real quick these are what I have left but I I did have the the Jin Hao uh, it was the 159 with a 1.5 stub nib. The Parker Vector with a medium nib. And the Piper, uh, that one was also in the collection. The Himalaya also. Uh, the, uh, make sure that's going to be it. And I believe, oh, the Vansgati Homo Sapien 
the 23K and the Levenger facet, that black one that uh, one of my viewers got me. Great pen. But those were the ones that I just got finished with. So, that'll take care of that as we move on. I've been talking about uh, Monte Blanc 149 for some time, and if you have kept up with my videos, even from last year, you'll know that I've mentioned it, and then I've always showed my little uh, uh, make-believe uh, 149, the Jinhao 159, right? Well, I've been thinking about this, looking at this for two years, watching reviews after review after review, watch them again, going on two years and debating, how can I get this pen? Because, like on my video said, that's one of my grill pens, and so is the Parker uh, Big Red, the Continental. Uh, the 18K medium nib on that one. Uh, those are the two that I want to get, and I'm going to get, but just how do I plan on getting them, these pens? Well, after all these years of thinking and working in my head how to get these pens, and yes, I'm going to get the 149, and I'll probably end up getting it tonight sometime so I should have it sometime next week I am going to sell some of my pin collection that is the only way that I'll be able to get the pins I want and these pins I'm selling are either really brand new almost brand new or hardly even used I'll start off with the platinum and they all come in their original box and case and here is the platinum with all the papers everything as you see and it's a C nib if you can see that pretty good right there C nib and the C stands for it's a double broad nib, 14K, excellent fountain pen, superb, and there's nothing in it because it's right there, your converter, and it comes with a cartridge. Excellent fountain pen. I've only used this fountain pen one time. That was just for a review that I did to show the pen, and then I washed it out immediately. So that's one of them. And how much? Well, if you're interested, email me and make an offer. And we can go from there. Uh, the next one is going to be the Lamy. I'll show this one. I've done reviews on all these pens. Beautiful blue matte look. And this is the, uh, is it the, um, I, you know, I really forgot if it's a studio. But uh, here are the instructions for it. Uh, here's the little booklet on it. Tells you how to fill it. Beautiful pen and begin my looking glass here and this is a fine nib but it's a nice writer extremely nice and it does come with a converter and I take care of my pens with the I give them the, the utmost care beautiful pen knockout gorgeous you know, Lamy is a very nice fountain pen. So that was that one. And if you're interested in, in these pens, like I said, email me and uh, we can go from there. And then here is a 
vanishing point with blue mate abroad and I got uh, this pin I think a couple of years ago 2015 there it is with the broad 18k broad nib and of course they're black but it's still an 18k broad nib excellent pin very nice writer and there's that and I've used it about five times now and uh, that's uh, not a whole lot wouldn't you say uh, because I rotate my pins so I can be able to use my pins then you lift it up and uh, it comes with your goodies inside cartridge etc so it is a really nice pin so if you're looking for an affordable pin and you're on a budget like I am then this is the time to uh, answer yourself are you ready and here is the metallic blue one I think I got this one last year and it's got everything in it as well 18k beautiful gorgeous to die for broad nib black nib beautiful pen and I hate selling any of my pens you know how much I love my pens I truly and I'm not just pulling your leg I truly hate doing this but if I want to have my other two pens I've got to do this I don't have any choice and uh, you've got your other stuff in there as well your paper so anyway and uh, another great fountain pen that I really like oh, I got this two years ago with the Pilot Custom 74 with a 14k broad nib everything's original well taken care of this is how it came and broad nib beautiful pen nice 14k broad nib beautiful gorgeous nib very nice writer love the pen to death comes with the car converter it came with really sweet so that'll be another one oh they get even better so yes it's really hard for me to uh, sell these wonderful fountain pens because they have brought me so much joy and I was at one point going to be collecting the uh, vanishing points in Lamy's, but well, I can't because I got to buy these other pens. So anyway, here's a brand new Pilot Metropolitan. And uh, this one is a fine nib. And I, I bought it this year. Still in the package, hadn't been even used. Beautiful color, is it not? Just like you see it, still in the package. That's going to be for sale. Now, what I haven't got out yet, and I will be, and if you're interested, I, in the box, remember, everything comes with boxes. I have a brand new, you ready? 
Vance Gotti, Van Gogh, Old Soft Shoe. Uh, and I'm not sure if it's a medium or fine nib. Uh, I'll tell you what, I believe I have it right here, and I have the box also. So this will come in the box, and here is the Old Soft Shoe. Right here. Beautiful pen. Pull off cap, and the nib is a steel nib, medium nib, beautiful, untouched, never has been inked up, part of my collection. I've already sold one, and that was the sunflower. I sold that last week. So, those are a few pens that I have for sale, and I will be going through some more. Maybe some more vanishing points. I'm not sure, because it's kind of it's kind of hard on me to get rid of all these pens. You know, I you know I'm not going to just give them away for like thirty, forty dollars, but I'm going to be fair about it also. Uh, I'm going to be really fair about it. So if you're interested on pins, email me, let me know, and I'll get back to you. All right, that takes care of that. Yesterday in the mail, I received this box. I won't show you an address, but in this box. And this was in it. A special thanks to you, Ross. Thank you oh so much, Ross, one of my pen pal buddies, sent me this ink from New Orleans. Beautiful. It's a blue ink. Beautiful. And Mr. Announcer, will you do the honor since you pronounce the words better than I do? This is Kaye Real. And I'm going to be using that probably in my Pelican fountain pen or Monte Blanc or Vascati. I don't know. I'm going to use it in one of them. Beautiful ink. Can't wait to dip into the ink. Again, thank you, Ross. Man, I really appreciate it. Okay, got those questions out. Another question uh, sent to me by a young lady. I won't mention any names. And she said, Larry, are all the... I'm trying to remember the words, but she said, Larry, are all the fountain pen reviewers nice? or stuck up, or snobby, because I watch your channel and some other reviewers, and she said it's like up and down, okay? So, not sure what you're meaning, but if you're watching out there, this is you I'm talking about, in a good way, to try to answer that question for you. Uh, as, as we all know, we all are different. Uh, we have different ways of doing our presentations. Uh, so, maybe whoever you're talking about maybe comes on a little different than I do or another reviewer you may be watching. We all have different personalities, different sides, but uh, I, I, I want to uh, always think the positive more than the negative, and give the benefit of the doubt. And I, and I'm hoping that uh, whoever you're speaking of isn't coming to you in a negative way, because I'm sure he or she does not mean to be that way. That's just how they're 
I guess, presentation art. Uh, and I hope that answered that question. That's the best I can do for you on that one. Uh, I've had uh, some questions about fountain pens. You know, first, they were asking me uh, to show more of the lower end pins, which I think I've done. And then they showed me, asked me to show a different range of fountain pens, which I think I've done. And then one of the viewers asked me, well, Larry, how can you get them higher end pens if you're not working? Well, I've answered that many times in my reviews. And uh, so I'll answer it again. When I buy a higher end pen, or really any of my pens, I have to save up. Like on the Pelicans or the or the Homo Sapiens or the Van Gogh Opera, uh, I have to save sometimes a year to two years, and then I'm looking for deals like on eBay for auctions or best offers. And uh, I have on occasions have bought a used uh, Van Gogh. Um, it wasn't the Van Doe. It was a one next one down. But uh, I got that used, but it was well taken care of. So, you know, I, I shop and I look for good prices that I can afford. So that's how I get my pins. But now I'm in a situation on the pin I've mentioned, the 149, we'll just deal with that right now, that I have to sell these fountain pens. And these are six that I've mentioned that are for sale. And I'll be doing a few more. So, I hope I answered that question. And another viewer asked me a question. And he said he wasn't trying to be assy or smart aleck, nothing like that. And I, do, I didn't take it that way. Uh, Instead of me getting that other fountain pen, why don't I invest in a better camera? Well, that's a good question. And uh, But in my videos in the past, I've talked about that. I've had the uh, one camera, the black one, and uh, I've had that problem about getting a better picture of the pen, the nib, uh, and the writing sample. So now... We got this Sony camcorder, which is a better quality of camera. And still, that wasn't good enough. So then, uh, thanks to you, Bill, out there, one of the viewers, bless his heart, he sent me this lens to put on the iPhone, which works really good. Sometimes I forget to put it on to take that close-up picture of the nib, but I'm trying to remember. So, thanks again for that, Bill. So, uh, I already spent over four, five, six, eight hundred bucks on cameras, so what I have is what I have, and, you know, if I buy a camera, then I can't buy a pen, or if I buy the pen, I can't buy the camera, so I've come to the decision, I think I'll be selfish and just buy the pen. You know, you only live once, and maybe God willing down the road next year, I might get a better uh, camera, but for right now, I just have to make do what I have, and uh, hopefully y'all can bear with me and understand my position. But, you know, that was a decent question, and I didn't uh, take it in a negative way. And I hope my response to you was not a negative way as well. Because the last thing I want to do is hurt anybody's feelings. So, that was asked. Uh, I've had some viewers ask me, Larry, how are you feeling? Uh, you know, they've heard my story about my spinal stenosis and 
some of the health issues I'm enduring at the time. It was, uh, this week has been a rough week. Almost to the point that I had to go to the ER. The pain got so severe in my spine. I was like on fire. I was almost in tears, to be honest with you. And I'm sharing with all of y'all a personal bit about me that I really don't share with people. But the questions were brought up and I'm going to answer them and try not to get too deep about it because it's personal for me. But anyway, I'm on pain medication and that's not even helping. And uh, I was at the point, I'm going to have to get a morphine shot or something to help this pain. I'm going out of my head with it. And I knew if I went to the ER, they would have to do lab MRIs, call my doctor, I'll be there for hours and hours, and who knows what would happen from there, and probably wouldn't end up getting a shot. So, uh, long story short, I didn't go, and then this major depression sets in. So now I'm fighting two enemies at once, a severe spinal stenosis issue and a severe depression issue, and they're clashing together, and I'm like, that's all I need. And it was video day to, to do a video. And it shut me down completely where I couldn't do a video. And thank God that I already had a backup video ready to go on. So my buddy put it on for me. But I totally had to shut down. I was done. Toast. And I had to. I had these ice packs that you get when you order on the pharmacy. And uh, it has to be refrigerated. Like if you get 90 days. Uh, like, let's say, maybe insulin or something that has to be refrigerated. Uh, they put them in boxes with these ice packs. Well, that's what I use. And uh, I'll put a towel on it, and then I'll put it on the bed, and I'll lay down. And right in the center of my spine, maybe a little lower, depends where that pain is, I'll lay on it for one to two hours, maybe all night long. And what that does, it freezes the nerves that are all up and down my spine. And that will stop the pain because they're frozen. Because that pain level hits me from the mid of my spine all the way down to the tip of my toes. And to show you real quick, right in here, in these two areas, is where I have real bad muscle spasm pains. And my legs just want to just fall and just go from under me, but it gets really, really bad right in here. And, uh, but like I said, from the spine, from the middle of the spine all the way down my legs, down to my toes. And God knows how painful it is. So, thank you for the questions. Thank you for your concern. Thank you for the prayers that you've been sending me. I really appreciate that. That means a lot to me. So, dealing with all this that day, I, I finally kept fighting and fighting. So, I, I did come to the pen room here and did another video for the following day. Maybe not my best one, but it still was a video. And that kind of helped me fight two things at once. Fighting the severe stenosis issue and the severe depression issue. So, uh, maybe that's enough on that, but I, I hope you understand. So, you know, there I, I, I shared a major part of my personal health problem there. Uh, but, uh, you know, yeah, I wish I could work. Or maybe I, you know, I thought about working at Walmart because when I go to Walmart, the door greeters, all they do is sit on a chair and do this. That's it. Some of them do this. And you walk in. Or some of them do this. So I don't know what they're there for. Every once in a while, you might get a door greeter saying, hi. That's it. But I can do that. 
but my only problem is that whenever this pain breaks out, I need to lay down or I need to do something quick to try to help alleviate that pain. So that's why I can't work. Uh, but if I could work, I sure would in a heartbeat. Pin City, here I come. Love it. But uh, what do I like about what I do? That was a question. Well, I like being on YouTube because I like helping people. That's what I used to do. All my life I grew up helping people however I could. I, I, I've helped people and I'm not making myself as no big, great guy or all that. But, I, you know, I've helped people pay the rent, buy food for the house, make car payment, pay the utilities, take them to and from, from work. Help fix their car, buy them a little old used car, nothing fancy or great. Um, I've done this all my life, even help uh, buy some of the kids their school clothes for school and uh, a lot of uh, the school supplies that I've done for kids. I've helped families, well not anymore, but used to. At Christmas, I can't help everybody. I finally realize that, but I would find a family, locks over short, and then I would buy the Christmas tree, buy the toys, buy the Christmas dinner, and take it to their house. But before I did that, I'd go talk with the parents, let them know what's going on, so the kids won't see it. It'd be a surprise, long story short, success. And what did I get out of that? I felt good in here because I actually got to help somebody. So, and also I feel needed because I'm, I'm doing something that I love. My love for fountain pens, the inks, anything I work with, it's a passion. It's a drive. And I truly, sincerely say this, that I, I love what I do. It's part of me. And I won't stop doing what I do until I'm 10 feet under. And then, that's it. But uh, that's where I'm at. And I love doing reviews on whatever product I do. Now, I don't believe in dogging any product. It may not be up to par, but I'll let you know my opinion. And I always suggest, you know, check out other reviews because you may find other reviewers that have different opinions or you may find that three or four reviewers feel the same way but say it in a different way or there may be a mix of uh, feelings on it. That's what I do anyway. So I hope that kind of answers that question. And am I going to have any more giveaways? Yeah, I will. I'll be having some here soon. Uh, I've got some hero pins that came in, and they'll be on giveaway. And one more time, uh, I I don't have the uh, what was it was it the Jin Hao or there was a fountain pen that's been out Chinese made that uh, I have to look it up. That the Wing Soon. Thank you, sir. The Wing Soon. Yeah, fountain pen that I keep getting a lot of folks out there asking me that. And again, I'll say, no, I won't be getting them because, well, first of all, I had to get a refund. I ordered it in two months and never came in. So I got with the seller and he graciously refunded my money and apologized. But I had three great cool looking pens that I just couldn't wait to review and get my hands on them. But uh, they've already been reviewed and I'm sure you can find them. They're everywhere on YouTube. So I won't be doing it. Uh, the black one, there's a beautiful black one that I wanted. Uh, and then the, the one, the uh, demonstrator was not. They're all nice. But anyway, for now they won't be happening because every penny I get is going to these pens. 
what else? Uh, ah, something new coming up. Uh, be right back. Don't go away. I'm still here. I'm right there. La, 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 la. As you know, I have to use my cane. Right? Good old cane. Now, sometimes I walk around without it, believe it or not. But this is my cane for any kind of long walks. Everywhere I go, I take a cane with me. And I have canes in the car, in the truck. I have a cane in the bedroom and one in the den. Just in case if I, I forget, because I lose the canes, believe it or not, I forget where I'll leave it. I think I can walk like a normal person. Eh, no. But anyway, uh, I'll be doing a review as soon as it comes in on a staff locker. Uh, you know, it, uh, it's about so high, and you can use it for hiking, walking up and down the streets. You can use it as a cane, but it's a pole, staff pole, taller than this. I'm five foot six, so I think it's what, 50, 55 inches or something like that. But anyway, uh, Luke, the gentleman in the U.S., is, has made a, a whole line of nice staffs. Some uh, will be plain, some will, you can order will be carved in a wolf or an eagle, I believe. And the one I'm going to get is plain. So that's going to be cool because I will be reviewing that staff poll and I'll be out somewhere uh, doing it and showing you uh, how effective it is and to see if it will help me uh, maintain my balance which is a must. So I'm kind of excited for that to happen. Uh, I've got some other pins coming in I don't know when. Uh, I had uh, these are customized pins. Uh, one from a a gentleman here, not in Fort Worth, but just outside of Fort Worth, maybe 20 miles from Fort Worth, that is going to make me a custom pin. It just blew me away. And I won't mention his name yet until it comes, but, uh, you know, I was just speechless because he wanted to do it. So I'm excited. Uh, what else has been going on? Yes, I uh, have my bullet journal. I use this religiously, and I do love it. And like, uh, here is my July calendar, and uh, my July daily log. But I, I, I use it uh, every day. And it's come in very handy every day. Uh, so, yep, that's still working out. And uh, again, I use the Uber notebook. This is the newest edition by Uber Works that has come out. It has the pen loop, really nice notebook. Uh, and one thing about notebooks, folks, you know, this is affordable. This is like, what, 13 bucks. I think this is like 21 quality notebook on this bullet journal. It was turned 1917, I believe they call it. Uh, but, you know, it's all about paper, fountain pens and inks. But depending on the paper, even with this notebook, you may have see-through or bleed-through. Uh, depends on the ink and how wet that nib is on the size of nib that I have found out. Uh, but are they worth the money? Yeah, they're worth the money. And You know, if some people out there actually use pencils, that's cool. 
ballpoint pens. That's cool. Roller ball. You know, not everybody uses fountain pens, and that's okay. That doesn't mean uh, you're not okay. That's just because that's what you like to use, and there's nothing wrong with that. We all use what we choose to use, what we can afford to use. And back to the last thing for pen case talk, to the 149. Uh, uh, I've heard good things about it and bad things about it. Um, they, a lot of the comments, they think uh, overrated fountain pen. A comment once said that, do you realize how many hundreds of Jin Hao fountain pens you can buy to one of the uh, 149? Um, some comments that I've read, not on for me, but just to other folks about when they share their new fountain pen 149 that they just like to show off because they have it. Uh, do they think their pen is better than these other pens? And it just goes on. It's like good and bad. It's, you know, positive comments, negative comments, and it's back and forth. The reason why I'm getting it, because I've always wanted that in the Parker uh, Big Red Continental. I've always wanted those, never could afford it, and scared to get it, and then didn't want to give up any of my pens to get it, but now I'm at the point where I'm going to have to give up some of my pens to get it, and I'm okay with it. I've dealt with it for two years, and that's enough. You know, you only live one time, so you better go for it. If you have to save up for something that you really want, then do it. Go without something to get what you want. Sometimes you can't have your cake and eat it, too. I wish, but in my situation, I can't. So, it's not about, I want a Monteblanc for a status symbol. It's not because I want a Monte Blanc to show off. Hey, look, on that cool? It's not because I want a Monte Blanc to say, look at me. The reason why I want a Monte Blanc 149 is because I've been wanting one since I've seen them, since I got into the fountain pen world. And I've done the research, and I don't know how many times I've watched review after review and presentations of the 149. And they just look like a darn good writer. They're big, fat, wet, juicy. What I like. You know, my hands aren't big. They're, they're small. But my hands will fit fine with a large pen. Because I have large pens now. And they work well. So, that's my take on the uh, 149. Well, I must have been at this, what? 45 minutes maybe. I think it's time to go ahead and say, well folks, thank you for watching today's pen case talk. I hope I answered a lot of the questions that were asked. I hope that I came off in a positive way. I hope you all felt welcome and warmed. And all, each one of you know I love you guys. It's all about you. It's never been about me. It's about you guys. That's why I work so hard, pain or no pain, because I not only I love what I do, but I want you all to be involved. And by involved, I mean by when you see my reviews, you're involved. Then we come one as a family. We think as one. We're on the same unit with that one fountain pen that comes together. Thanks for watching and uh, on my next pen case talk I will answer the question about why I say be safe and don't text and drive. Later. Love you guys.